This my slow angle BAC, which is that slow angle angle right there. The angles I'm going to figure out so that I can get that angle are going to be that right angle right there and that blue angle right there. So this is similar to the other two patterns that we did one and two. There are the right triangles. There's one of them. And here is the other one. So there's my two right triangles. I am going to again do blue minus red to get the yellow angle. And I'm going to do let's see, where is the other one? So I'm going to do silicatola here because that angle is involved against my uh, sides, the silicatola. For the blue triangle, my partners is over here. Opposites over here, adjacent down here. Okay, I'm missing a couple sides here. From A to B is 300. From B to C it's 100. From B to C is 100. And from C to D is 150. Okay, so that's what I've got there. I'm using the opposite and the adjacent for this first one, so it's going to be a tangent problem. Uh, let's see, the opposite's 100, the adjacent is 300. I don't know the angle. Many times I don't know the angle of the second problem, the second tangent. That will have the calculator and how many tangent inverse, and then I put the fraction into the parentheses. The second tangent, 100, divided by 300, is 18.434. That's the red angle. Next to that green triangle, I've got to be a little careful again because a couple of the sides are really tricky. So the hypotenuse is way over here. The opposite again is across from the angle, and it has to be a side of the green triangle. So the opposite is over here, which is those two sides together, which is 215. And then the adjacent side here is over the green triangle. So I know the opposite side, I know the adjacent side, so those are two sides of the new, so this is a tangent problem again. And like we've seen in a lot of these things, these are tangent problems we way more often than they're anything else. But we guarantee they're tangent problems. Uh, 215 is the opposite, 300 is the adjacent, I don't know the angle. Like all the time we've done this, if we don't know the angle, we have to hit the second button, get the tangent inverse out of the calculator. We put 215 over 300 in the parentheses. And we get 35.627. That is the blue angle. And then in the beginning, we said we were going to subtract these two to get the answer out that we wanted. So 35.627 minus 18.434, 17.129. So 17.129, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it says the nearest hundred. The nearest hundred means around that two using the nine. So 17.13. We're going to do the size of that angle right there. 